Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to a new video. Um, we basically just got hit with a new patch note, and this patch will be coming out very, very soon. At the time of recording, it should be coming out tomorrow um, after today. So, we're gonna just take a look at all the all the notes, everything. I'm gonna share my thoughts on on um, everything that's listed here. It doesn't look like a lot, but there's actually a lot to be. Um, there's a lot that I can. I can talk about I think um, just with 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 just what we see here and also on reddit some people actually translated their the skills of some of these monsters uh, the Maris and the new um, spark it I think yeah I'm gonna have have those two open as well so we can take a look at them um, at the same time so first things first the the po patch is coming out tomorrow there's gonna be a maintenance it's probably gonna be a long maintenance that they're saying it can be extended um, there's gonna be a new monster called the Yeti and this Yeti is basically, it's going to be um, available during the event period. You, you can basically get these Yetis as a capture event. Um, and also, they're going to be encounterable in the new area once they once they actually come out. But the, the new area isn't going to be out yet. So this is kind of just like, a, it says over here, Yeti will be able to capture before the Glacial Plains is open. So I think what this implies is that the Yeti is going to be the new 3-star rare monster on Glacial Plains once the new map comes out. And they're basically just giving us a preview of this monster, so you can you can kind of catch him beforehand. Um, it's not too big, but I think it's actually quite a nice nice little addition because what this means is we will be able to get a few more um, of these Yeti monsters on the normal story maps, which means that I'll be able to do more rebirths, get more light dark you know light dark versions of the rebirth monsters, make them variants, and I can rebirth more variant um, rebirth festival monsters and stuff like that. Second monster is the Sparkit. Um, the Sparkit is a new four-star monster. It says that the Sparkit is only is randomly summoned during Rebirth Festival. So this is, I think it's um, it's over for the Verdes. There's going to be no more Verdes, but <coughs> oh damn it, uh, there's going to be be Sparkits now. You you will be able to get these new Sparkit monsters. I will I will take a look at all their skills right afterwards. Right after I talk about the patch, or I could actually take a look at them right now while I'm talking about it. Um, Spark it, there's five elements. Basically, they have a global leader skill for HP, so this is actually very, very useful. Holy shit, my neighbors are cutting down their trees. Um, <laughs> that's why I took a look up there, uh, up at my window just now. Um, there, I just saw like a tree go by my window. <laughs> um, the, the fire... Fire version is going to be a tank, uh, two turn, two turn stun, two turn blind. Basically, this is going to be like a water sura, but I, I, I don't think the five star skill is as good. But it I could, actually could be an AOE, so it might be, might be a better monster. Stat distribution wise, I think this is pretty nice. Um, it's mostly HP, mostly defense, not a lot of attack, uh, a little bit too much recovery. You could actually move some recovery stats here. It could be better, but you know, not going to complain too much. It's just a random four star monster. Um, Water one is an attacker with two turn blind and a courageous strike on crit. So basically, this is going to be um, it's going to be a water version of the Fire Verde. It, it can be really nice. I think I think this monster can definitely be very very good for for Titans. It's a uh, attack type. It has a lot of attack, uh, not too much defense, quite a lot of HP, not too much recovery, which is also good as well. Um, the wood monster is a balance type with elemental advantage. So this is like you know elemental edge and a two turn attack down. I'm guessing they have AoE skills because they, they uh, like 60% is not very high for a single target skill, so it's actually more reasonable for it to, to have AoEs. So I'm pretty sure that these monsters will have AoE skills. Um, HP, mostly attack, a little bit of defense, too much recovery. Uh, the wood one's not very good because of the stat distribution. I think that the, the skills are decent, but the, the well, actually the skills are kind of mediocre as well. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna talk too much about it. The light one is also an attacker with a 100% shock on on crit, and 70% um, defense down. So this is kind of like a light Thor, but it relies on crit. Um, stat distribution wise, pretty nice for an attacker. 3,300. That's really all that all that matters. You could also, I think you you can maybe use him on 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 offense. Um, he he's a good monster on paper, but I, I just can't think of a real like practical way to actually make use of this monster. So I'm not like currently in the game right now. I'm not sure how this monster could be used. Um, the dark one I'm actually quite excited for. I I do actually really want this monster because it has a restore um, LISP bar by 10%. and also has a 70% stun. I think this is, this could be a really nice monster for um, I think possibly farming in the future. I I. 
currently have the Light Succubus, which gives 10% SP SP boost, and I could also pair her up with this monster, and then this could boost the SP bar of my monsters even more. Um, stat distribution wise, I think it's really, really nice. Mostly HP, mostly defense. Not a lot of attack, not a lot of recovery. So this, this could be a really nice monster to put on arena defense. Um, you know, he's mostly tank type. And he has a pretty annoying stun, like, I think 70% is pretty high on a 5 star AoE skill. And mostly is to boost the SP bars. Um, so yeah, really, really nice monster. Uh, thanks, thanks Stoopy for, for posting this on Reddit. And we're going to be taking a look at the, uh, the Maris as well. The Mari is a, there's only going to be a water and light dark monster. I think this probably is going to be the next capture event. Probably, since there's only one element plus a light dark version, this probably is going to be the. I think this this uh this Bigfoot thing it might be temporary, and the Mari thing might be the next actual capture event. I I think that actually wait no. No wait, I'm fucking dumb. The the Maris are are packages. I forgot. Uh shit. Um, the Maris are. You know those like light dark packages that you buy for like 400 astrogems? This is going to be like a advanced version of that and it's going to cost 990 astrogems. Um, basically, wait, let me I'm not sure if I if they misprinted this. I I was I was looking at this um, just now, but I, I don't I, I'm not sure if they actually misprinted this. But basically, if you buy if you buy 6 of them, you will be able to get a light dark egg. That gives you one Mari, and then um, if you buy buy twelve packages, it gives you a heroic egg. Actually, that's not too bad of of a deal, I don't think. But the thing is, like, I don't know if these these packages are going to be like out for a long time, or if they're going to be only out for two, like one or two days. Because if they're only out for one or two days, there's no way I can afford them. Um, but if they're out for like a whole entire month, I could actually farm the astrogems to actually buy maybe like 12 of these packages, um, possibly, because 12 is like 12, it's basically like 12k astrogems, which is like the equivalent of two Heroes Festivals, so if I, if I save up for Heroes Festival, farm a lot of astrogems, and also do, do this at the same time, I will actually be able to, um, you know, make 12 purchases, it's actually, it's actually quite possible for, for normal players. I, I kind of like the way they they're doing this because um, if you're like a hardcore hardcore like grinding farming player, you will be able to maybe get 12 packages. But the the these ones are basically like reserved for the whales. It's a it's a good way for like the 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 whales to be able to um, you know to to to. Sp spend more money on the game this way like it keeps the game alive but at the same time the players that are like super super hardcore and want to farm they won't won't necessarily be able to you know get the mari that they want but they will be able to get a light dark mari egg which gives you either the light one or the dark one so you have a chance and if you get 12 of them you basically get another heroic egg which is another guaranteed um, nat 5 which is which isn't too bad but you know it's definitely better for heroes festival so this will actually come um, after Heroes Festival, but because if you think about it, it's like six six thousand astrogems for a well, actually it's technically not it's nine hundred ninety, so it's a uh, five thousand nine hundred and forty astrogems. Um, which you know, if I, if you want to round up, it's, it's six thousand astrogems. Um, it's gonna be six thousand astrogems for 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 the first uh, Mari egg. And then if you buy it 12 times, you will be able to get a another um, a, a guaranteed Nat 5. But if you participate in Heroes Festival, even if it takes 10 pulls, it's still only 6,000 astrogems. So it might actually be better for you to participate in Heroes Festival instead of buying this package. Obviously, if you're a casual player, this... Um, you, there's no way you can buy this, like it's way, way, way too expensive. But if you're a player that's like grinding really, really hard, um, it's it's possible. I, I definitely do see that it's possible for you to buy this package like maybe 12 times in order to get the, um, the you know, the, the heroic egg or something like that. Um, yeah, I, we should actually take a look at their skills to see if they're good. Uh, no, this is the spark it. I'm actually quite excited for the Sparky. I do actually want the Dark One. The Dark One seems really, really nice. It's going to be awesome for my um, full SP boosting pugilist defense. Um, so the Water, Water Mari is a, has Adrenaline. So it's basically a passive healer. 
kind of like the water purse and also has a 70 percent attack down i think this is a nice monster definitely a really good monster to to use um the light one is basically just a defense aggressor similar to the light nike i'm not sure if it's going to be too good unless the stats are much much better than the light nike but the light nike already has like really really good stats so it's going to be a little bit hard to top that but the dark one i, I think is definitely pretty nice it has battle rush and predator we're gonna have to see the stat distribution before we um before we decide on this monster, we're going to have to actually see um, tomorrow once the patch actually comes out in game. We're going to have to go in and take a look at their actual stat distribution. I'll be making like an actual like um, official review of all the monsters once it, once it actually comes out in the future. So, uh, worth the pack? I'm not, I'm not too sure. But like, you know, maybe if you grind hard enough and you have like 6,000 astrogens for Heroes Fest and then you have like 6,000 left over, then maybe you can buy the Mari pack. Um, if it's like a pack that's like that's like out for like a whole entire month if it's a pack that's only out for like two days then there's no way that like anyone that's not a whale can afford to buy any of them um so i don't think they're gonna do that they're probably gonna keep the pack out for like you know a whole month like you know keep it keep keep selling it on the side or maybe like it's gonna be it's gonna continuously be out like you can buy two of them and then it's gonna stack up and it's gonna come back next month or something like that i'm not too sure um but they need to give us guarantees like you know that the counter won't reset or some or some crazy shit like that in order for us to want to um you know buy these packs at least i'm talking i'm talking about the the players that are like you know late game players that are grinding really really hard um if you're early to mid game player I, I don't think the packs are worth it it's not it's it's kind of impossible to for you to make like a um an evil three mari at all and if you're a whale then i'm let me think if you're a whale like would you what are the monsters really really good battle rush predator i'm not too sure because the the thing is like if it's a battle rush monster it could possibly be possibly be a tank and then if it's also a dark monster so you can actually gem it up with like um crit rate double hp and it can be like a really really sick uh arena like you know pvp defense monster but at the same time if it's like a if it's an attacker you can kind of use it the same way like you would use a dark mona um you know with basically with just you know just for farming like build a full glass cannon and stuff like that but it's i still think it's somewhat inferior to the dark mona because the dark mona has a 30 percent morale boost you don't really need to self-heal um to actually wait no there's one one place that i think the the dark mari might be better than the dark mona and it's the same reason if you if you take a look at the background i'm currently farming slumbering city um uh, re one of the reasons why i'm using my dark miho instead of uh instead of um, Dark Mona is because actually Dark Mona sometimes can can die when when she gets focused by the mobs. But I think if you build uh, if this monster is an attack type and you build it like full glass cannon, because of the battle rush sustain, you will actually be able to stay alive. And it might be better than using a Dark Mona to farm on the later maps, like once like glacial plains and stuff comes out. Um, but that's all. That's like very 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 late game stuff. I think. Um, yeah, it's definitely like even beyond me. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for the Maris. I think it's a little bit expensive, but I, but, um, it might only be for the whales. I don't think, I don't think, if it's only out for like one or two days, it's not really meant for normal players. It's just meant for the whales to buy so they can have this like extra, extra cool monster. Um, but I, I do think it has its uses. Like the light one could possibly have like insane stats. Like, no recovery. It has, like, 1,500 recovery. Like, 3,500 defense. And then, like, 30k HP. That would be insane. That would be, like... it would, it would Maybe it would, it would have, like, the most insane stat distribution ever. Um, and then it would just out completely outclass the Light Nike. Maybe. Um, but the, I do see some uses for the Dark Mari. Also the Water Mari for a passive healer. But um, there are probably better passive healers, like Water Purse and stuff like that, that might actually... I wouldn't say it's easier to get, but um, if this is only out for a limited time, it's definitely easier to get a water purse. And the Dark Mari, I think, has has some uses for farming like super late game um, if you're planning on doing story farming for like Dragon Sigils and stuff. Okay, um, what else is there? It's gonna be. 
All right, so there's going to be capture event. The Yetis, or we talked about this. Um, we talked about the package. Now, the next, the the final thing that they added was new skill books for a lot of monsters. So the siren, I think, um, I think this is a pretty good idea because the sirens, if the water siren especially, a lot of early game players use this monster. And if you get some skill books for the siren, you can definitely um, skill her up, and she can be pretty useful for for a lot of things. I do have a light siren, so I'm actually kind of excited for this. See if I can skill her up and make her even more OP. Um, the Hana, Hanas are also really nice. I think the Wood Hana is definitely really, really strong. If you can max skill Wood Hana to get her attack down chance up higher, and then maybe make the defense buff last like four turns or some shit like that, that could be really, really insane. Um, Coteens, I think this is quite interesting. They're adding skill books for, for, uh, for two-star monsters. Um, the water coutine is definitely really, really good for clan battles. Also, quite good for early game, um, just for healing. Also pretty good for that TLC floor with the, the Fire Cura. Maybe it'll be really, really cheap to skill up the two-star monsters. So if it's super cheap to skill him up, you can definitely do it um, to boost your Titans runs, like to, to boost your Titans team, you know, overall tankiness. Maybe the defense buff will last like one more turn or something like that, a little bit more. Um, so that's definitely pretty nice. Candling, um, candling buff is actually pretty pretty good as well because the fire candling is quite nice for early game. Um, some people can use them for for B9. And farmable monsters have really really good stats. Like farmable three star monsters have really good stats. So the candling is definitely pretty nice. Fibians, all elements getting boosted. So uh, maybe the light dark fibians are going to be much much stronger. Like if they boost the the dark fibian by a lot, it could be pretty insane. Like a 40% battle rush with a uh, What's his other other skill? Like more healing on his his uh his his last skill could be really really cool. Um, the Hermite, the water. I almost have an evil three one. It's kind of sitting in my storage. Um, the Loki's Loki's. If I can buff up my light Loki even more, that would be really really nice. The Scorus. Um, you know if you. I remember um, when I did the did the collab video with Asian Elite. He showed his Wood Scorus team for for Golem's B7, and the scores were really, really good. He was running a double wood scores team. You can definitely check that video out um, if you just look at my channel. And yeah, if you if it's really cheap to buff up these two-star monsters, I think it's definitely pretty nice. You can definitely just, you know, skill him up a little bit and make him a little bit stronger. The Banshee... I'm not too sure. Maybe if, if they buff the wood Banshee, like, even more to make her armor break, like, 80% and uh, give her a stronger morale boost, like, you know, 40% morale boost, I think she's definitely going to be really strong as well. Uh, the Monkikis, light dark Monkikis, um, I don't really like the Monkikis because they're single target, but... Yeah, I don't. I don't like the monkey keys. I'm just. I'm just gonna leave it. Leave it at that. The lats. The the water lat is a really nice monster for early game. Um, if it's cheap to skill him up, then well, actually, he's he's a three star monster, so it would cost the same as a water miho. Um, I guess you could skill him up early if you're trying to get into like B8 and stuff. I think it's pretty pretty nice to skill up a lat if you can if you get this, get some skill books for them. You know, just just dump them in, and that's basically extra damage for your team. So that's pretty nice. I'm, I'm quite excited for all the new skill books. Um, we'll see. We'll take a look at everything that I have once once it actually comes out. I really hope that they add a tab actually in the Astro Guide to take a look at all the skill book skills because there's no way to look at this, the the skills of all these monsters if you don't if you don't actually have the monsters. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, in conclusion, I think I think it's not bad. We have some new stuff coming out very very soon to keep us keep us wanting more. I'm kind of sad that the Verdes are gone because I, I do actually want to build a light Verde, but we're gonna, I'm going to have to wait for her to come back in, into rotation. Um, I currently have a Fire Verde Evil 3 already, so that's actually pretty good. And I'm I'm getting too many like variant 4 stars that I need to start dumping into something else. So what, I think once the spark gets come out, I'll, I'll be able to dump a lot of my variant 4 stars into it to try to get like a, a dark one. Uh, I definitely do want the dark dark uh, the dark the dark spark it has really nice uh, HP defense. It's gonna be it's gonna be really really awesome. I want to pair him up with my with my light succubus for for arena defense, and we're gonna have like some crazy crazy morale boost action um, very very soon. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, that's that's it for this video. Um, hopefully hopefully the patch is good. Once it comes out tomorrow, I'll be able to do a actual 
actual review of the patch and also an actual review of all the monsters once I, I'm able to see all their, their max level stats and everything. So that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.